Hello, and thank you for your participation and support of Mercer Intramurals. Welcome to the captain's video for the intramural basketball season. Today we will be going over the policies and procedures of Mercer Intramurals as well as the rules of basketball. There are a number of reasons you might be watching this video. For starters, you need to watch the video and score 100 on the captain's quiz on imleagues.com by 2 p.m. the day of your first scheduled game in order to be eligible to participate and maintain ACC points. You might be watching simply to learn more about the rules of basketball, or you may be seeking more information regarding our policies and procedures. Regardless of any other reason you may be watching this video, Remember that it is absolutely necessary to share this information with your team. We highly encourage you to recommend to your teammates that they watch this video as well. Regardless of whether your teammates watch this video, you are responsible for ensuring that they understand and follow all of the policies, procedures, and rules detailed in this presentation. The Intramural Sports Department at Mercer University is a student-led organization. The program relies on the efforts of student staff to run smoothly. Respect and courtesy is expected from participants and spectators towards intramural staff members, other participants, and other spectators. Participating in intramural sports is as much of a learning experience as a recreational activity. Learning to coexist with others is vital to your growth as both a human being and a Mercerian. Intramurals are intended to be recreational activities. Please treat them as such. In order to sign up to play intramural sports at Mercer University, you must make an IM Leagues account at imleagues.com. After you have made an account, you may join one same gender team and one co-rec team for each sport. After signing on to a team, you still have to bring either a government-issued photo ID or a bear card to sign in at the game site. Failure to bring one of these things will result in you not being eligible to play that day. All faculty, staff, and students are eligible to participate in intramural sports. Players that are currently under suspension are not allowed to participate. Intercollegiate athletes are ineligible until 365 days or one intramural season, whichever is greater, after their affiliation with the team ends. Varsity coaches will be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. A team that uses an ineligible player will forfeit the contest in which that player was on the roster. Teams must formalize rosters on imleagues.com by 2 p.m. the day of the game. Once a player signs onto a team, he or she is locked onto that team. Rosters are frozen in the playoffs and no one may be added at this time. The most debated and consistent issue the program has with participants is when a competition has to be forfeited. Game time is forfeit time. No matter what has happened in the past, this policy will be enforced consistently. Being a couple of minutes late is still late and will result in a forfeit if your team does not have the minimum number of competitors for the sport. Forfeits will result in a loss and forfeiture of ACC points. A team that forfeits twice will be dropped from the league. We recommend that captains tell their teams to be on site 15 minutes prior to game time. If a team knows in advance that they will not be able to play a scheduled contest, they may default. To default, a member of the team must come into the intramural sports office and fill out a default form. This form must be filled out by 4 p.m. the day of the contest and 4 p.m. Friday for Sunday contests. Please note that a team may only default 50% of their regular season games. Defaulting more than 50% will result in that team being dropped from the league. Any team that does not have the minimum number of players registered on IM Leagues by 2 p.m. the day of the contest will automatically default any game scheduled that day. Please be aware that we have changed our policy. We are no longer using one-time entry forms. A player must be on the roster by 2 p.m. the day of the game. If a player is not on the roster, they will not be allowed to play in the contest that night. Again, there is no on-site sign-in if you are not on the roster. You must have a valid bear card or government-issued ID in order to be allowed to play and your name must be on the roster. At the conclusion of each contest, the field supervisor and officials will assign a sportsmanship grade 
0 through 4 in whole number increments to each team. Captains must sign the score sheet after the grade and final score are placed. Captains, please do not sign the score sheet if this information is not there. Teams that do not achieve a 2.5 or better will not make the playoffs. Also, teams that fall below a 2.5 in the playoffs will be removed from the bracket. Teams forfeiting a game for any reason may not receive higher than a 2, and the winning team receives a 3. If a team defaults, both teams receive a 3. If a team captain feels that the officials have erred in the application of a rule, they may protest the ruling. This must be done prior to the next play. The supervisor will then be consulted and will make a decision. If the team still doesn't agree with the application, they may submit a written proposal to the assistant director. Please note that only the application of a rule can be protested. Judgment calls made by officials are final and may not be protested. In the event of inclement weather, intramural activities are subject to cancellation. The decision to cancel games will not be made prior to 4 p.m. the day of the contest. If this happens, the intramural sports staff will update a voicemail message with important information on the day's events and send a message to all participants via imleagues.com. Please note, regular season games are not rescheduled. Also, we do not allow the use of tobacco or alcohol on or in any of our facilities. Basketball is played by two teams with five players on the court for each team. In Mercer Intramurals, a team must have four players present and signed in at the game site to avoid a forfeit. All players must wear a jersey of the same or similar color with a number on it, preferably on both the front and the back. The supervisor in charge will make the final decision about what is or is not a similar color. Participants may not wear any jewelry except for medical bracelets, build hats or wraps with a knot except for religious purposes, or any hard cast on the court. All participants must wear athletic shorts and closed-toe, non-marking athletic shoes. Shorts with pockets are allowed for the basketball season. The game will consist of two 20-minute halves and a halftime period that will not exceed five minutes. The game clock runs continuously until the last minute of the first half and the last two minutes of the second half. The clock will always stop for timeouts, and each team has two timeouts per half that do not carry over. Each player is allowed five personal fouls before they foul out. Players that foul out are not ejected from the contest. They simply have to sit out the rest of the game, and they receive no additional penalty after the contest. Any player that receives two technical fouls will be ejected and that player is required to leave the courts after his or her ejection. After a team's seventh foul of the half, their opponents will shoot one and one on each non-team control foul. This means the player that was fouled gets one free throw and if that shot is made, he or she will receive a second shot. After a team's tenth foul of the half, their opponents will shoot the double bonus or two free throws on each non-team control foul. There is no limit to substitutions, but all subs must approach the table and kneel down until they are beckoned onto the court by an official. Free throws are always assessed in the order of occurrence. The defensive team must occupy the second lane spaces and may occupy the fourth lane spaces. The third lane spaces are reserved for the offensive team and no one shall stand in the bottom lane spaces. Teams may not enter the lane during a free throw attempt until the ball either hits the rim or the backboard. Correct teams still consist of five players in any combination of three and two. A team may never exceed the maximum for either gender, which is three. Two males and two females one male and three females, and three males and one female are all acceptable combinations. All field goals scored by a female are worth one extra point, and if a female is fouled during the act of shooting, she receives the same number of free throws as the value of her shot. All free throws are still only worth one point.
There are also several basketball opportunities outside of Mercer's campus. If you or your team are interested in any of these extramural opportunities, please contact Todd Thomas as soon as possible for more information. Thank you for your participation in Mercer Intramurals and good luck in the 2012 spring basketball season.